ATA CMS is suitable. U.S. Army Colonel assessed how to stop Russian guided aerial bombs. In order to stop Russian guided aerial bombs, CABS, Ukraine must strike the territory of the Russian Federation with all the weapons it has. ATA CMS systems are also suitable for this. Retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Cedric Layton said this in an interview with Liga Media Outlet. In particular, he commented on the fact that in the border zone of the Kharkov region, the Russians, as in the Donbass, are destroying absolutely everything. The enemy is turning the populated areas of Ukraine into scorched earth, and cabs are especially destructive. For Ukraine to be able to stop the cabs, it must strike Russian territory with all the weapons at its disposal. This includes weapons from the United States and European countries. ATA CMS systems can serve this purpose perfectly, he said. He notes that the Russians are limited by supply lines, their capacity and the distance they must travel to the front outside the territory of the Russian Federation. In some places, they were able to get through 10 to 15 kilometers, but for now, Ukrainian defenders are keeping them away from Kharkov. At the same time, the metropolis itself is under constant threat from long-range artillery and medium-range weapons, bombs and missile strikes. The American colonel was also asked whether the situation would change when weapons from the United States reached the front. Some of the American weapons are already in Ukraine. It will be a constant process of delivering weapons to the front to concentrate them. It can take from several weeks to several months for you to get the necessary amount of weapons to stabilize the front and then for the situation to change in favor of Ukraine, Leighton said. As the colonel suggests, once the weapons are in the right points along the front, corresponding changes will occur on the battlefield. He expressed hope that the Ukrainian armed forces will stop the Russian advance and use the right tactics at the right time. Leighton positively assessed the Ukrainian armed forces' strikes on Russian oil refineries. This is one area where Ukraine has shown exceptional ability to innovate. The strikes have threatened much of Russia's oil refining production, but it will take time before the Russian economy is significantly impacted, he said. The Defense Forces of Ukraine jointly with the Security Service of Ukraine have conducted a several days long operation of destroying the supply routes for the Russian troops in temporarily occupied Crimea. Early reports say a complex strike on substations and power supply networks was launched, as well as on the stocks of light oil products in Russia's Krasnodar Krai. At first, the defense forces launched a missile attack on two ferries that headed to the Kavkaz port and were used for the purpose of military logistics of the Russians. Then the security service of Ukraine drones struck the substations, which supplied the Crimean Peninsula and the water area of the Kerch Strait, including ports, with energy directly. On 30-31 May at night, the security service of Ukraine, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, 
launched a strike on a transfer tank farm in the Kavkaz seaport. Light oil products were sent to Crimea through it. After an efficient operation, a massive blaze broke out, which could be visible even from the satellite.